Hey guys, it's Chelsea from Our Urban Homestead. Welcome back, welcome back to the kitchen. And today I'm gonna to be doing a recipe sent to me by my friend and bosom buddy, Patty. So Patty, thank you so much for this recipe. I for one cannot wait to eat it because the pictures that you sent looked absolutely delicious. So I was very lucky at the local farm to, they still had blueberries. Blueberry season is just about done here in Michigan but I still was able to get my hands on some fresh strawberries. So we're making, what did she call them? Blueberry pie bars. Yum, right? <laughs> All right, so let's get on into the recipe, guys. So to start off with, I have um, sprayed this very, very well with nonstick spray. I don't have parchment paper. I thought I had it, um, but when I went to the Amish store to stock up on that kind of stuff, I bought plastic wrap and not parchment paper. And I don't even really use plastic wrap, so that's a bummer. <laughs> so that's what I've got, that's what I'm using, that's what we're doing. So we need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour she said she sifts hers, so that's what I'm gonna do. If you wanna get a pen and paper, this would be the time to do that because I'm gonna go over the ingredients. So one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a cup of old-fashioned oats, not quick oats, half a cup of brown sugar, one and a quarter teaspoons baking powder, uh, one, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then we're gonna add two thirds cup melted butter and a teaspoon of lemon zest. So that's gonna be for the, um, the crust and the topping. Half a cup of brown sugar. One and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Ooh, sweet baby Jesus. My eyes are getting bad, you guys. She also sent me a killer sounding recipe for uh, peaches. It's like a peach, peach souffle, I think. Oh, it sounds so good. I'll be doing that one too. Not today, because we only need, we don't need all, you know, 8,000 desserts. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I use a high quality cinnamon for baking. I think it really does make a difference. All right, I'm gonna mix this together. I mean, what's not gonna be good about it already, right? Jeez Louise. Gonna zest some lemon. When you're zesting a lemon, you wanna make sure that you don't get the white part, which is called the pith. You just want the yellow, because that white is bitter, and it will not make your dish taste delish at all. And then I've got two thirds of a cup of melted butter. Mm. 
Uh, oh yeah. Give that a little mix. Mm-hmm. Okay, so then I'm gonna take one, yeah, one cup of this topping out. And add a quarter cup of more oats. I'm assuming that's gonna be for the topping and this is gonna be for the bottom. I'm hoping anyways. Patty, if I didn't do that right, then tell me. Oh, jeez. Look at that, you guys. Making a mess. All right. One cup. We're going to spread this into the bottom of the pan. And lightly press. Because my pan is not as big. She says to use a 9 by 13 But my oven won't fit a 9 by 13 So I'm just going with what I got. Quarter cup more oats. All right, so then we're gonna bake this for 10 minutes at 350. All right, the crust is baked for 10 minutes and now we're gonna make the filling. So I've got five cups of fresh blueberries here. And to that, I'm gonna add a half a cup of sugar Two tablespoons of cornstarch, some lemon zest, absolutely love the combination of blueberry and lemon together. It's one of my favorites and actually blueberry, lemon, and basil is even better. And, oh, and then we need um, a tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm going to turn the heat on to medium low and we want this to just come together like so the she says the sugar melts but the berries don't. I might add a little more lemon juice just to kind of help that sugar along a little bit. That smells heavenly, you guys. I really need someone to invent. <laughs> Smell a tube. <laughs> 
We need smell a vision and smell a YouTube. So again, she says just do it until that sugar starts to kind of melt. So I'm going to call this good. It's been going for, I don't know, maybe two, maybe three minutes. But I don't want the berries to start to cook. So we're going to spoon the filling. Oh, you guys. Then we're going to take the rest of that topping mixture that has the quarter cup of extra oats. Just kind of crumble that over it. I'm telling you right now, this is going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, then this is going to bake for 50 minutes at 350. You guys, let's dish up some of this deliciousness. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, sorry about the dogs, guys. You know, it's like a damn menagerie around here. Oh my gosh. been killing me. Let's give it a taste. You guys. Oh, oh, oh. I almost feel a little naughty. <laughs> Here, have a bite. I'm hiding this. No one is going to get any. You guys, seriously? <laughs> That's what I feel like doing. Oh, this is so good. You guys. Mmm. Bad girl food, happy dance, hundred percent. You must try this. Mm. Impeccable. Patty, thank you so much for sharing this recipe. It is out of this world. I'm gonna have to hide this because I don't really know if I want to share. I'll give April a piece. Just kidding. I don't I don't need to eat all of it. <laughs> so if you don't make this, really what are you even doing with your life? Seriously. <laughs> um now she does suggest serving it with a scoop of French vanilla ice cream on top. I think that would just like take it way over the top and I would not even know how to comprehend life. I think my brain would like literally frazzle out. It is so, so good. So I hope you took down 
notes because I'm not posting the recipe in the description. If you didn't catch it the first time, you better go back and watch the replay. Oh, Patty, thank you again. Absolutely wonderful. You guys, please try the recipe. And until next time, abundance and blueberry pie bar blessing <laughs> to you. <laughs>